Hello guys, I'm Enzo Bonito from Team Redline and uh, I've been playing with the active pedals from uh, Simucube headquarters for quite a bit now. I've been driving the LMDH BMW prototype car uh, on Watkins Glen and uh, on iRacing. And uh, I came up with some pretty interesting settings actually. Um, uh, we're gonna start straight away um, with the throttle. You have the, the pedal travel here at the bottom, obviously. It's just how much you want your pedal travel to be. Uh, I went from uh, sort of a um, kind of a middle. It's not too long, not too short. It's kind of in, in between. Uh, but what I did with the graph is really interesting. Is uh, you know, just uh, uh, in some of the corners, medium to, to low speed, when you feel like uh, the car is losing traction, I just created a little dip here. So on around 35%, there is a little dip that it tells you uh, that in that moment, the traction is lower and then uh, it goes back up again, which tells you, uh, it gives me a feeling of, uh, you know, uh, regaining that traction. So it's really hard to explain, I know, but uh, this, these pedals are just, it's insane the amount of things you can do with them. And uh, yeah, so it's just, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy, um, but you can definitely feel it in the pedal. And um, yeah, and then at, at the end, it just goes all the way to 100 uh, smoothly. 13.1 kilos of, of pressure, so it's, uh, I like it that way, but you can go all the way to 150, but that, that's crazy, I think. We move on to the brake now. What I did here, again, it's a, sort of similar to the throttle, but it's more aggressive for obviously the braking. It's more man, uh, braking related. And um, I'm using 55 kilos. Obviously, this is how many kilos you want to use. You just change one slider and you decide how many kilos you want to use on the car. It's easy, fast. But yeah, I created a small dip here again. And then it seems to be working really well, the small dip and then going bam. And then you get to the point where you know the car, you can't go over that limit, otherwise it's gonna lock up. So I'm using some damping this time on the brakes because uh, I feel like um, it gives a bit more of feeling in general. I think, um, uh, especially when, when released, um, well, if, you, if you are some kind of driver that releases the brake, the brakes too much you know sometimes when you release the brake too much um, uh, the, the rear might step out and then you lose the car uh, under braking but in this case this this helps massively it's crazy um, and um, yeah friction I went for some friction now it's good to, to test it out I think the strength is uh, gives gives the pedal a bit more of um, in general again feeling and the smoothness helps as well uh, so um, I'm using that right now. Yeah, that is all pretty much. Um, hopefully um, it's gonna be helpful for some of you guys. And uh, I find it re pretty fun and uh, it's pretty, um, gives a lot of feedback while driving. So uh, I enjoyed it a lot and uh, definitely gonna tweak a bit more. You know, this is uh, the first day and uh, we're gonna definitely find uh, lots of crazy things though with these pedals i think the amount of things that you can do is crazy so uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah i'll see you on track bye bye